ஊரே உயிரே உனக்காக துடித்தேன் விண்மீனே வினை தாண்டி வருவாயா இங்க என்ன சொல்லுது இப்படி வாட்ச் ஸ்டெல்லிங் வாட்ச் ஸ்டெல்லிங் சொல்லுதோ சொல்லுது ஜி ஆனா வந்து டைட்டில்க்கு வராதீங்க நம்ம இன்ட்ரோ듀ஸ் பண்ண வேணா ஹாய் வணக்கம் மை நேம் இஸ் தனேஷ் மை நேம் இஸ் சோஸ்வா மைக்கேல் and இங்க என்ன சொல்லுதுனா வாட்ச் ஸ்டெல்லிங் வாட்ச் ஸ்டெல்லிங் ஐ வாட் ஒரு <laughs> 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 So before that thank you so much to oh. everybody in 10 episode kadichi in the 10 thara inga moonja paathirukinga paathirukinga moonja paakradhu badala na pesirudha 40 nimishama 50 nimishama ketirukinga na periya vishayam so yes so today's topic is vinay thandi varuvaya so before we go in get into the podcast again let's get the formalities out of the way ama idu in the last few episodes sorry to go again thank you so much for everybody who's been watching listening Uh, both streaming whatever whichever platform yes. that you guys are uh, and to consuming. remind you guys of that platform it is obviously on youtube but if you can also listen to it on spotify apple podcast google podcast and a couple of other podcasts badala kadalla just the the main three podcasts right yes. and, and to everybody who's been uh, recording tagging sharing uh, i even met a couple of people who came to me in person enni or manasala madichi thank you for doing podcast so like nearly yes nice very nice. shy of india it is very nice to see you guys post post a uh, video of you guys watching our podcast especially to see which part they record because that yes. part is that your favorite part abdi nu varumode and also iniki and yesterday or something someone said you guys can have a radio show abdi so we will take that <laughs> into consideration na vena ma solra evano varavandra nammle e pesi irundha room la yeah thank you so please do even in this episode if you're watching please uh, record or something put it up on insta stories tag us please tag us as an important part we would love to see you guys watching this and with that let's get into the episode let's get into the episode Vindu but before that vaya. this is the second <laughs> before that illa ji adhe adhe andutom but this is the second gautam vasudev menon episode that we have had. of course yeah na ungalku vera padam kadikkala illa ji engalukku jeevam pidikum jeevam pidikum but jeevam ku mela inda padam nammalukku romba pidikum of course of course right. so right. Uh, we've talked about all again so before we we get into the the, the scenes and why we're talking about venith and everyone so we have to talk about why we're talking about this film right right because let's set the stage yeah right. so nare per ku vende venith and everyone as a film uh, you know it because you know of course the beautiful songs beautiful song na beautiful trisan solla oh. vanda <laughs> but beautiful song songs uh-huh. also not so bad no not but so the, bad eh but the trisan <laughs> is very beautiful trisan is very beautiful just see just see it's yeah. you know, so, so everybody knows vinith and as the beautiful performance of trisha of course the uh, of simbu and gvm but uh, and of course a lot of people see it as a, as this typical romeo juliet correct correct and then then solluvanga star cross lovers ah ama natchathirangal pugundu vitta seri 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 okay okay parala konjam thaduma irudhu english la poiruma star cross lovers the Uh, the, the love that never uh, ended uh, and never happened and the mari yeah. padam patti uh, part, part that's how people conceive correct, correct. Never, right? but we are here to talk about something else as well yeah the the, the, the movie in general, i think the reason why it's so memorable of course songs definitely is like more than probably 50% or more 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 than that part of why this movie is so successful right yeah. but also because of uh, not so usual ending yeah right the ending vandu daivi sindhi yarada vandu ji na onnu paakala ending soliradinga sonna saagila nalla vandro what she studying illa vara 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 mari varu idu 10th episode 10th episode variko ninga idhil ninga spoiler panna maatana nenichinga enga thappu illa nanga kadara kadara spoilers vechirukom ninga of course but yeah because it ends in a very uh, unusual way yes. at least for tamil cinema and climatic that time, correct anti climatic yes. right because more we were so used to happy endings apdi apdi na varumbodu happy but, endings padathaliya illa eh okay sorry continue sorry ninga enna solreenga ninga onnu theriyadhu please continue uh. what is ha- how what is happy endings legi <laughs> kada <laughs> 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 okay so apdi varumbodu this was different so at least yeah. i think it sort of strike the conversation with people in the padathai paaru you're not going to expect the ending apdi yeah. kuda aarambichirukalam right yeah. but more more than like how it ended or whatever not i think vinay tandi varvaya is a 
testament of a director mm. who knew his characters at least his main two yeah. characters inside and out yeah and that is shown throughout the movie right so adha patti than konja pesalam apdi vandu so when it never were again similar to our uh, our discussion was with varun mayaram okay. and, and of course it is quite because it's the same uh, director uh, again gautam menon uh, employs or uses a trick which i think a lot of directors uh, don't or maybe don't know how to use it as well as gautam he lets the character play out Correct. right so with vinith and varoya of course it's varun mayaram but let's the focus on vinith and varoya i think two of the key things that you'll end up talking today in this yevala na pon therla iniki or avaru poma therla but doesn't matter how long we're talking about it the two key things i will have to still uh, very much uh, prioritize in terms of conversation today mm-hmm. is the use of characters correct and, and the use of uh, visual correct right? the be- like the behavior behind these characters and where where their motivation comes yeah. from apprendu and how it's also shown visually like i think yeah. we are nama padanthu nethu paathi irukumbodhu ah ah in the point ora note avadi report edhi vechirukku a couple of things there right? before we get to that i also want to point out on one thing uh the movie starts off with i always like to look at where the movie starts off yeah. or how the movie starts yeah. off right First of all, it has that beautiful moment of like, and the title, and the actor's pair, and the cuddle, and yeah. the cuddle, the long, the long, the long shot uh, of, uh, the yeah. river, right? and the long yeah. shot, and it'll pan to that church, and we yeah. know that the church is going to be an important setting in the movie, because the symbol, whatever, and the first dialogue we hear is, and that is, so iconic dialogue, dialogue, no one is 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 saying yeah. that the dialogue is underrated, it is yeah. as rated as it should be, yeah. but uh, that is essentially the entire movie, yeah. right, the entire movie is because, இவன் இந்த பொண்ணை லவ் பண்ணிருக்காள இதனாலதான் பிரச்சனை இந்த பொண்ணு வேற ஒருத்தனை லவ் பண்ணிருந்தா சம்மன் மோ சூட்டபிள் டு பிரச்சனை வந்திருக்காது இவன் இவனுக்கு போது இவனுக்கு சூட்டபிளா இருந்த லைக் கடைசியில செமத்தா இருப்பாங்க அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு பொண்ணு லவ் பண்ணிருந்தா பிரச்சனை வந்திருக்காது இவன் இப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு ஆளு சிம்பு மாதிரி சிம்புவோட அந்த கார்த்திக்ன்ற கேரக்டர் இந்த ஜெஸ்ஸின்ற கேரக்டர் லவ் பண்ணனாலதான் இவ்வளவு பிரச்சனை சோ ஐ திங்க் தட் என்கரேजेस us at least again a lot of villain than ever varuvayas crazy fans would now i think would disagree with this with what we are about to say mm. uh, vinodhan varuvaya is a lot for a lot of people is a story of these two people who, are, who, who were meant to be uh, did not be not getting together correct but, but how i the, see it's it is a story <laughs> vinodhan is a story about two people who wasn't who were not supposed to be with each other but mm. end up having some sort of an interaction but thing with each other the way life takes them is at the end of the day they were not together because they were not meant to be together correct right correct. so these two people who were, were very different and and ends when they tried to get that they were tried to kind of come together it didn't have a happy ending to your I point i think yeah. i think i think when gautam wrote this i don't know to what extent is this real life of gautam so from what, looks like whatever i've it. heard or whatever i've read or right. whatever i've seen uh it is sort of somewhat related to his life because he's married to a malayali christian i see gautam right, is right. married to a malayali christian and it some of it is kind of related right. apparently some of the jessie's uh, characterization was was based on his wife right but yeah so because the thing is i think what when when you want to write this movie about these two characters like i said yeah paakada uh, vanda there two characters who are meant to be maruko but looks like the intention of it was two characters who are definitely not meant to be and yeah. before you guys attack us yeah uh, now we will uh, obviously we will talk about more more of why we think that's the case in this episode yeah. this podcast but ni padama irukumode if you want to write a story but two characters are not meant to be aarambathilendi if you show that they are not meant to be very obviously nobody yeah. is going to root for your characters yeah. what's the point right what's the point paakumode idey ivunukku yaanda avanu ulla love kaatringa love nu kaatringa punniyam illaya so that's why what gvm does is creates an illusion yeah that they are meant to be and one yeah. of the scenes that does this is or gadathla simbu will tell vtv ganesh sir parangala na avar 10 endradukulla avare thirumba pa paarenga and then he vtv ganesh comes one one two three in on four. count of four, four she turns back yeah. so that is gvm ultimately sort of fooling you or at least not fooling giving yeah. an, a, a perspective that or a, an idea that these people are meant to be yeah பத்துன்னு சொல்றதுக்குள்ள திரும்பறது இவ பத்துல திரும்பாம நாளே திரும்பிட்டா தட் இஸ் ஹவ் மென் டு பி தி ஆன்ற மாதிரி ஒரு இல்யூஷன் கொண்டு வந்தாதான் நவ யூ ஆஸ் an ஆடியன்ஸ் ஆர் ரூட்டிங் ஃபார் திஸ் யூ ஆர் நாட் இன்வெஸ்டட் இன் ஓகே யூ லைக் ஓகே ஐ பை இன்டு திஸ் ஐ பை இன்டு திஸ் வாட் எவர் நாட் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் a டிபிகல் மூவ் फ्रॉम டைம் மூவிஸ் பாறேன் நான் திரும்ப பாப்பறேன் பட் பட் தட் இஸ் ஹவ் யூ கிரியேட் இன்ட்ரஸ்டிங் தட் யூசிங் தி வேர்ட் டிபிகல் மூவ் फ्रॉम a டைம் மூவி because if you pay attention to everything that karthik uh, played by simbu why why still thinks one of the best performance right. uh, why is simbu by the way i don't know enga irkinga sir pe no manada no no varum varuda paapom but coming back to this right uh, the character of karthik itself 
it's 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 probably the most filmiest role uh, uh, gautam has ever written correct and this is gautam who is known to write very sensible roles if you again correct, go correct, back correct. to our to our podcast about varnam iram i'm sorry for i probably have to quote the varnam iram episode a lot in this episode because it's the same director in how in varnam iram gautam writes one of the most grounded characters in um, in in krishnan like how your everyday joe will talk yeah, right yeah uh, krishnan or even malini or played by simran how he writes very sensible uh, grounded to reality sort of characters in in kartik at least for kartik he writes the most filmious uh, uh, roles for a hero Correct. We always look at Jesse going. Oh, Jesse is so undecided. Uh, Trisha, as in this case. Moody, you put it. Yeah, that's yes. You're, you're so confused, whatever. But the in factual, in in reality, in in in, in, fa- in looking at the fact facts as we as we see it, Karthik is the most filmiest person there. Correct. What does he do? He he lets go of an engineering job. He 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 wants to become an actor because again, you know, sorry, he wants to become a you filmmaker. You're Karthik, but you're pasting. No, you're not doing anything. No, Jee, you know. நீங்களும் ஒரு கார்த்திக் தானே அடிச்சது But what is he saying is this is what Karthik is again remember this the film is a narration from, from Karthik's point Karthik's of view Karthik's point of view yeah and it, literally because that f- it, that film ends up becoming a film. film within a film right correct correct so the entire film as you as you see it could just very well be a version of Karthik's vision or what he saw it. correct so and so i and so if you realize the the sort of the villain in this case or the person that is sort of like the yeah. comes up as the reason why it didn't work out is yeah. always Jesse Yeah but yeah. actually in reality you're watching it from Karthik's point of view so he is jumping out of the gate he's just landing he he sings osana yeah. or whatever because he's the most filmiest guy in the in the scene in the, in the film correct see he is a filmy guy who at the end of course as we find out i want to in the number part the part when it's not what it actually happened as you say yeah. is i'm i'm a nadandha vandu padama eduthirukan adha da namba vulnar paathirundirukom so or a filmy guy yeah how would we write his own film exactly right exactly. our perception automatically is all filmy yeah. now he's turning that into a film it's even becomes a lot more filmy so it begs a question at this very important point we are <laughs> questioning the existence of the film itself yeah is venetani or the film that you see is it a film or the film that kartik wrote right because that's the, the in, in which which completely changes the narrative about the film which means is is this jessie girl was she really in love with him yeah yeah Or, you know was she could uh, just be wishful thinking right wishful, like yeah badre nalla irukke ivu nammala love panna nalla irukume and then you had on this whole idea of again karthik being someone who's creative who's filmy who's very over the top mm. in that sense again i'm sorry that his love of his life uh, uh, goes goes to kerala and he and says he, and he oh sells it america ke porana ala pe go matter he goes to ala pe again he's so in- instinctive it is is so you know on that moment of okay in that moment person yeah, right correct. and then and then you have this beautiful character played by jessy or played by trisha jessy who, who is, is the most it? logical thinking person who um, is who's in the, the story exact opposite of of kartik of kartik even though they sort of share attraction to each other whatever yeah. not right it's completely opposite and i think that is like the essence of the movie that is where gautam yeah. want to do let me have two characters who are somewhat yeah. attracted to each other but they yeah. are the complete opposite correct. see at no point do we feel like jessy is not into him Correct. she's been into him the entire time yeah. but that is not the issue the issue Correct. is that she is completely different and how much that affects their relationship yeah. right yeah cuz even jesse for that matter even in the film again this is where i uh, every time we talk about gvm and and how how brilliant he is with writing because a lot of criticism is thrown to gvm or oh, script full away mudik matare he goes to a shoot without with yeah. 70% of scripts or whatever but this is a guy who still for at least for what we understand is one of the best writers of characters because when he writes a character like kartik who is this uh, assistant film director who is who is who is who is very creative who is very dreamy wants to do things uh, over the top and then he writes a character like jesse in the film if you pay attention no one ever talked about this is jesse is a is a, ma- a supposed graduate in mathematics correct right again if you don't understand if you don't trust me there's a scene in the film that she talks about the fact that she did msc in mathematics right. right so he writes this character again from the and even he writes it he just doesn't write it as a behavior he writes the character sketch jessy someone who did mathematics and she's very logical thinking correct. right in everything and in everything that she does is so calculative correct first thing that if you realize the scene where kartik kind of chases her uh, sorry uh, kartik sees her at kfc ah uh. what is the first thing that jessy ever tells him Right? She, she says, "Are you following me? Are you following me? Correct. Look at the the way a girl 
is is reacting in, in GV, GVM so well. Correct. She is so logical. She thought she is very processed. She uh, analyzes the situation. Correct. Even na inge vandi kitte irka. So that means he's for, most probably following me. Yeah. Checks with you. Are you and, following me? And she doesn't even like mean so words. She is the kind of person. Okay, are you following me? Because he's like okay, whatever. Second, when he he follows her on the road. Yeah. The outside then he says uh inge valley ka illa na cricket ku par. She is to the point. Correct. Logical thinking, right? She is saying like cricket ad par avariya. Then she says then she looks behind. Behind. Checks then, for So the way, this is a woman who is probably has never been seen before in films correct right the kind of again the kind of consist- consistency that Jesse portrays as a character yeah up to the end but all this while we've been villainizing Jesse right correct correct saying Jesse oh Trisha in the paithe kara pannum enna nandirukka but it is yeah. just her as a person who she is her behavior has never changed correct correct so do we have we started seeing Jesse as a character that is probably the villain of the story through Karthik's eyes we don't know probably yeah right because she's been doing what she's supposed to do she's the she's a very thought process driven person she says nga appa paathiruvaru nga appa paathala thambi nu solliren amma and all that Right? We do see a point in the movie where she sort of like I'm going to deviate from the recall like the, during the money paya portion yeah. right where she's like padu panna varu vara na paathukre but that is also see yeah. if you notice she has gone to an extreme in life where she almost got married to a guy that she exactly. doesn't like at all and obviously she likes someone else apdi or extreme pomode it sort of makes sense for her to now sort of yeah. reconsider her priorities yeah apdi nu varumbodhu so she tries and that is the deviation from her usual self yeah. but very soon she comes back to, comes back to she what is. she was she's like practical no mudiya the one of my most favorite scene of the film uh, is also when um, kartik chases jessy to alape mm. right and obviously this beautiful uh, location that they chose for the film and there's a scene where uh, at the at the near the boat or whatever uh, jessy talks to kartik and she says in edinal onak pidichirukke she goes straight to the point she says is it because i'm beautiful right any again we have not seen a conversation between a man and a girl or a guy a boy and a girl yeah. where it has been that level of straightforwardness, straightforwardness. correct it is because okay ever is it because i'm good looking why, why exactly are you attracted to me again i've not i'm not sure again correct me if i'm wrong i've not seen a conversation between a, a girl and a boy in a time of film where at, when it, at least when it comes it is supposed to be a romantic film where you know the girl is that upfront yeah, yeah. why do you like me Oh, you know, we've always seen scenes where you know, this guy is saying all this. Correct. I felt this, I felt that. But the girl is more of like, okay. Okay, listening to it, whatever. whatever or not. Yeah. That characterization is very similar to Samira Reddy. Yeah. That characterization is very similar to Samira Reddy. Yeah. As well, if you remember in Varnam Mayram. They, they even say a lot of, a uh, lot of similar lines like, Apak puti ke no le? Exactly. Apak puti ke no. Right? But there is, that, that's, that's again your typical GVM, GVM kind of female, sort of fem- female characterization that he, he figures. But that is the way Jesse has always been portrayed. Correct. Right? Correct. Again, your favorite scene, I remember, the, the theater. Yeah. And so, how she talks so about that, yeah. that scene sort of like builds, builds on as in the theater at one point. So we have established that like Karthik is this, Karthik and Jesse are these two very different people, right? Yeah. Karthik is this movie guy and Jesse is someone who's never seen movies. That is self like, I don't want to talk about it. That is self like throwing as much as GVM say. And that's okay. where GVM starts n- telling you one by one, hey, why they are not actually meant to be. Girl. Correct. She's not the perfect girl. Yeah. For him at least, yeah. right? Yeah. So even though uh, GVM says, okay, she turns, she turns, she turns, she turns, she turns, she turns, as the illusion he gives you. Yeah. Then he says, even when the, he shows throughout the movie, right? He yeah. is that. uh like he he's into cinema and the aram that's the first thing we know about karthik yeah. they established that he is someone who is going into film yeah. that's, the, that's the only reason why towards the end when they have the problem we can still feel for like we can still side him and say yeah. no but move, films are important to him apdi nam side panna mudiyadhu because yeah. they showed all that adalla varudhu she says na vandu vaalkila anji padam paathen yeah you know i don't really watch movies no but they, they look down upon anything related to cinema in my yeah. house yeah. so step by step gvm is saying that and then apdi vandu cinema la varumbodhu in that that moment where Jesse says one a pakanum pole irukke three hour irukke break time right la like, engachu polam yeah. padathukku polama first half paathu elinchu vandarla that's your first thing is you ortha vandu cinema like think, imagine someone if yeah. we are doing a podcast obviously we enter cinema a girl comes and say on a date say come go for a movie but we walk out in half of the movie but i'll still go but still <laughs> because it's a girl but i'll be like what why like yeah. like yeah. you know yeah. so yeah so the thing is that is already a red flag or not a yeah. red flag that's already something that is against his his yeah. uh, what he it's, is as a person it's entire 
uh, life principle in that sense where you imagine this again. I think what we are, we are trying to explain here is here's a guy whose entire life revolves around cinema. Cinema. The way he approaches life, the way he approaches love. Love. Again, remember this when I say Karthik is probably one of the most uh, dreamiest character that GVM's written and I'm yeah. saying this with the with the intention of telling you that Karthik is probably not the perfect guy either. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? Because even the scene where he says yeah, we America that is not a throwaway, throwaway line. G- Karthik is so rooted with films that he's referencing Varanam Ayram and says, I'm going to go do this yeah. because in this film that I watched, that character did it. Correct. So he- Karthik is so kind of caught up in his world of films and he, this is a guy then who falls in love with the girl who has seen five films. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that is the complete opposite of characters that JVM's written here. Correct. Every, every, everything he does with his love is inspired by movies he's watched over in the, yeah. in the church scene. He'll be like, Nisa, Nisa. But that is again da, 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 from, da, 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 a reference from, from Bombay. Right? Bombay, right? Yeah. So Manhattan. everything yeah. drives, mo- movies is what drives his love as you said, right? Yeah. So every one of those, she has, here's this girl who says, part of first but they didn't even Obviously, he still wants to talk with her as you said. Yeah. Like you would have that. He goes, she's talking to him, she's talking to him. And we see very clearly in this show visually, as much as yeah. he's so into this girl and his entire yeah. life is revolving around her, he's looking in front. His eyes fixed on the screen. Yeah. Fixed on the screen. Right? Obviously, he's still listening to her. Yeah. Basically, basically, at one point, Jesse goes, uh, yeah. Right? And, and Karthik says, Pudichirka. Yeah. So there's this, there's so many layers to that. What seems like a, like a filler like a dialogue, filler scene, yeah. like a filler dialogue. In Ramadhi, there's so many layers. Here is Jesse who thinks if you are watching the movie, that means we can't be talking here because you're not yeah. listening to the conversation per se. Right. So for her, it's, it's like, as I was saying, mutually exclusive. Yeah. Then he says, which, kind of foreshadows what exactly happens at the end. Correct. Because right? she's asking him to choose. Choose between yeah. like... Talking you, to her, you, being with her or is, being with Phillips. Yeah, yeah, that is your passion. You can't yeah. come from Goa at yeah. the end, right? Or if you come in, so it has to be either or. But for him, he says, see, a usual uh, hero who, who in a romantic movie would say, Padam avdi, unda avdi. Mm-hmm. Tell me, come, yeah. ma la, vanga palagala, abrinda meri, right? But he says, padam purichirke, and he will still look at the screen as he says it, yeah. padam purichirke, ana pesala. And she could do this talking. Yeah. Correct. So for him, it is, I'm not going to give up the movie. I'm not going to give up my passion that is yeah. films. But I'm, I'm, that doesn't mean I can't I can be you. here with you. Yeah. So for him, it's a, it's a matter of, I'm never going to let go of my passion and films and whatever not. It's sort of foreshadowing that. Yeah. But for me, you are also equally important, but yeah. that doesn't mean I'm going to throw either one away. Yeah. But for her, it doesn't make sense to her. For her, yeah. it's either that or this. Yeah. You know, very subconsciously, they are like that. And, and I think GVM's strength again is... He's, he has masked this scene, which is so late, right? Yeah, yeah. Again, every single time, I think this is one of the best examples of films. Every single time a film becomes a cult, right? Amma. You think, why do I do exactly do I like this film? What what about this film that I have like it seems like a normal scene, but why have I'm so, why so, am I so invested? invested in because it? the number of layerings to a scene Correct. which which sort of subconsciously can make you Affect. believe the following up scenes. Correct. It, it, it affects you in a very subconscious level that you're not you able know to this, place it. Because suddenly these characters feel so real. Uh-huh. They, you, you are so invested in, in Karthik's Correct. passion. You know, you're so invested in Jesse's logic that it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense to what they do eventually, although you might not agree to it. Correct. But it, it, it makes sense in their, in their own uh, rights. Correct. It, yeah. it's, it's like... You 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 watch these characters yeah. and of course they can always say out what they think and what they feel. Yeah. And you as an audience, more than you see, what works as a film, what makes you like a film is not what you hear or what you see per se, yeah. as much as that is the main thing. It's how you feel. Correct. And how you feel is not is not just ba- based just purely based on dialogues that you hear yeah. or the visuals that you see. It's more of like what your human brain sort yeah. of deciphers like number part of the movie we're sort of decoding a scene right? yeah. when you watch a film your brain is trying to make sense of a character in the character pretty solar now your brain will automatically try to make sense why would he have said this yeah what is in my personal life that i can yeah. relate to what the character is doing yeah. what is in my personal life that i can really that's why all these underlying layers will work okay. for some people Jesse might seem like this very um, confused, confused, yes. like what? Make yeah. your mind up in the Those people probably are more like Karthik. Yeah. But for some people, it might be like Karthik knows that this, there's so many things yeah. that is not going to work here. Yeah. So why are they forcing so, this love? That is not for example, work? so you are more like Jesse. Yeah. Right? yeah. For example, people are listening to this podcast at this point, suddenly, suddenly listening to all this, these things about Karthik and start realizing, hey, 
Karthik wasn't actually the guy who was the right guy yeah yeah Karthik yeah. is the it's the over the top over the oh, straight one accent stalkerish kind of a guy because he goes all the way and does what he has to do right correct correct and Jessie seems to be like the girl who's was very much clear about what she wants to do very logical and Amma. she's what what people argue is she's the logical brain amma while Karthik is the creative left side of brain whichever it is right yeah, yeah. so Suddenly, it, again, going back to your point, like the scene that you were talking about, right? The scene in the theater. When she says, Padam baklama, ila peslama. Al padam pakriya, ila peslama, right? Right. Again, remember uh, the conversation that, that happened at the lake much earlier that I was talking about? Where she's, uh, when, when Karthik and Jesse is having this conversation near the lake. Yeah. And then um, Jesse asks him, When I want to get in, 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 when I want to theater in that scene this is coming from karthik's point of view mm-hmm. karthik says in the padathula solren ama right karthik's way of expressing is via films correct right and while jessie's way of express jessie's logic is is that you express or you watch films yeah so it is again going back to a point that we have been talking so far is it's a story about two people who are stark opposites correct the uh, were they meant to be uh, uh, the more we we'll watch this we realize that it's yeah. not yeah so yeah. the thing is you see they talk about love languages right yeah. and you have your typical five love language physical touch up depending on my sale the varon to to look at it in a more broader definition yeah. kartik's love language is the not so straightforward yeah. more poetic more filmy more that kind of stuff yeah. right and jessie's love language has does not even consider that as a love language yeah. like nina padath like say pada pakriya ida so for for kartik movies are a way of expressing thing movies are not just something that he makes as a product of his career yeah. it's what he is and how he expresses yeah. and how everything for jesse that is just a hobby a part yeah. uh, a past time or your career yeah it has nothing to do yeah. with my real life here cuz even even in the scene if you remember uh, where i feel i like were narrating the entire story about picking <laughs> pieces of it but that's just fine uh, even in the scene that leads up next to that where the brother jerry um, kind of calls uh, obviously after the fight at the at the roof uh, at, yeah. the, at the house roof roof uh, at the balcony balcony yeah. uh, uh, jerry brings uh, karthik over to the to this uh, hall or whatever it is with his people and he says i touch my feet Amma, right Amma. and then uh, go away or whatever and then of course what happens then again they fight probably one of the most massive moments in the only film which is i fair i think it's fine because maybe gautam did it because to satisfy him with fans yeah in case you guys don't know what we're referring to it is a scene where karthik when the boxing my coach called me light foot light foot <laughs> it felt a bit reaching but, <laughs> but like but i felt like you know what vishay thana ungade sollala I'm actually a, 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 a kickboxer I never saw it. But I feel like those are one of the scenes he included in just because Simbu said sorry you're not going to rush him in your sir. You're not going to take the real sir now. Yeah. All that right? So that again that thing as much as a scene kind of feels like a like a saw saw thumb there but in the scene next to that or a couple of scenes next to that when Jesse and Karthik have that again another argument at the cafe Jesse says கார்த்திக் <laughs> 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 in instinctive is more okay, feel me again if it says if it's a fight i have to go sh- i have to do it correct right again again shows you again what again to your point gautam starts the movie kind of by ask you to buy into the story of these two people is supposed to be together correct right but then then he says spend the rest of the movie <laughs> saying why the they movie. shouldn't <laughs> but again that's that's the brilliance of of the writing because till that point you are still not sure why they are not together correct because Let's let's fi- let's face it. Uh, Jesse and Karthik did not break up because their father said no. Correct. Jesse and Karthik broke up because Jesse said no and Karthik just couldn't you know figure out a way. Correct. The yeah. the movie's title goes Vinay Tandi Varvaya meaning will you cross the skies for me? Yeah. Skies being something that is so high that it takes a lot of effort to do. Correct. And the reality of it is that it's very hard for them both to do Correct. it because at what cost? Yeah. Karthik and the Vinay Tandi Vandana he yeah. has to let go of his film thing. Sure. Right? 
Jesse Vinay Tandi Vandana she has to let go of her family and both are not willing to do that and it's it's beautiful that you have kind of touched on the title yeah. after almost 20 30 minutes of talking <laughs> because that brings us to the next point of what we want to talk about okay. right the first point again if those who are still following us <laughs> at this point the the first key thing that we want to talk about is characterization two of the characters here yeah. we have two characters that i think till this point at least at least we both have been misconceptualizing if that's the right word uh, two people that i feel cuz get to this point what we're saying is vinay tande varuve is not a story about two people who, who are meant, were to, meant be. to be together just couldn't be together because fate would have it is that we are out what what we've kind of started realizing is when there is a story about two people who probably weren't the best match for each other at all yeah because they were just completely different people with completely different ideologies about life correct and think about it kartik it's not it's also not like they are meant to be or kartik felt they are meant to be it's more like kartik the guy who cuz he jesse would have ignored the hell out of him if, yeah. if anything but kartik is the type of guy that is it feel me or alagana ponna vandu ya veetu mottamadila paatha kaadalla velundutta apdindra or aalu yeah see and, and the also, reason he falls in love itself yeah. is because his idea of how love works in films and also remember i didn't realize again i'm going about to say something that's a bit more controversial as well um i am putting i think putting forth an argument that actually kartik might have just lusted over jesse correct the amount of and let's look at the reference again again the, the jesse fanboys are like you did not just say that how right? dare you how dare you da we will we'll, we'll put a pin on that point you wanted to come <laughs> which is the next portion of what we want to talk about but yeah. okay, sorry, 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 sorry. the amount of the amount of physical reference that kartik uh, kartik makes to jesse mm. or about jesse first thing, thing, first thing he says uh, uh, you 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 were all that right the amount of uh, then he says uh, you hot correct very right. early on in the movie she, he when he describes he says sexy too yeah and she's sexy too and then when she meets on the road he says you're hot yeah and okay one of my most favorite scene in the in the film and yeah. he says our front up other than back other but now that was complaining not that i was complaining that is not just a classic gvm write off correct it correct. is again it is just to show that and most importantly and in again the, in, I, the, in that cafe scene uh, right uh, not even uh, cafe scenes again one he says the yenak inga okkand iruka ange okkarana pole irukke for those who don't understand what actually kartik means is the sexual tension correct but again jivim never uses the word sexual tension he says you are sitting there i'm here and i feel like i want to be there with you correct. the amount of sexual tension that kartik has with, with jesse is that high correct and my most favorite scene oh, on top of that is the scene where they are fighting at the road and he I'm says a, i feel like i want to make love to you all the all time all the time correct again then does that now puts a completely different perspective that is it more lust than love correct we don't know right correct. but again that concludes the first point that what you wanted to do these two people who are who's, who was probably this complete opposites who probably just didn't meant to be with each other because correct. they were not supposed to be with each other and let's give gvm credits to knowing so well what these characters are and exactly. sticking to it and really building that out correct. right Now coming to that but coming to your point about vinay tandi varuva the crossing word the the the, the 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 idea of crossing uh, a barrier or yeah. sky in this case a sky is again the idea of someone kind of after going through a hurdle to get to the other point Correct. is so visually shot Throughout very the beautiful trow there again that's the second part that i told with the use of visual grammar kaatchigalal kaatchi kaach kaachi padipugal illaya kaatchigalal kaatirpaargal kaatirpaargal yanji correct and correct correct onake na tamil avala alaga varala konjo galija poichindra right so again came back to the fact that the way uh, and I, i think the cinematographer of the film is manoj parahamsma Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think that was one of his first take your word for it. Manu <laughs> chine achigo. I think I'm correct, right? The way the visually the amount of time that GVM has shown the idea of a barrier is throughout the film in between them, right? Correct. Right. Of course, we all know the the signature gate. Correct. Right? Of course, Karthik and, the, and, and the, the gate. The Karthik and Jesse apparently it's a real house. which we should we should have visited when we went chennai the, the last year yeah. we should have why didn't we i don't know why okay. so going back to this the the visual representation of a of a barrier between kartik and jesse is obvious in that gate gate scene right the fact that they always kind of standing on the polo opposite the of, first yeah. time they meet it's seven i always like to go back to the first yeah. time of something yeah. because there's always a definition yeah. of how they portray it in a movie right the first time they meet again of course she walks in the street but he is behind that gate yeah and he sort of has to like when she comes he sort of has to she's on the other side of the gate you yeah. have to open yeah. and then she has to come in and yeah. all that stuff right so that's that vis- that's that visualization that you say yeah. right there in the beginning yeah. yeah so again so the gate becomes your signature visual that gvm just keeps repeating i think the number of times you've seen that gate and of course it realized when karthik eventually makes a movie 
He uses the same, same game. game. Like he gets Naga, uh, Naga, uh, Chaitanya, Chai, 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 uh, Chai, Chaitanya, Chaitanya, uh, Samantha, mm, yeah, yeah, Samantha, Samantha, Purusha, right? Pushpa, Pushpa, like like key buy. So uh, again, he uses Naga, and of course, uh, Samantha is there to to play other characters, and he uses the gate again. But apart from that, the GVM keeps using references to Barrios throughout the film between these two, whenever they meet or at, at any point instances that they meet. It's like that's first Barrios yeah. in between. And and just just to before you go into speaking of the gate, right? and how vinay tandi where you have to cross the thing the moment he realizes he's yeah. in like that that moment she walks up and the, 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 the lead to dosana yeah he literally jumps over the gate yeah. so in that moment of in that height of like yeah. like oh this is the girl you see obviously you forget about everything else in your life yeah. so it's like i feel like it's visually sort of shown where he jumps yeah. over that gate because at that moment yeah. that is all he can think of and he says just to pin for something not nothing to do with visuals he says enna adichid and the kadal yeah. and literally the song the the start to hosana goes and the ringing sound varo kadal you know you know when like that you hear something loud like yeah. an explosion that there's that uh, sound in your ears yeah. that like you know you can't hear anything temporarily apdi the part start panuvanga new in more or and the hospital beep money sound varo and then that changes into a melody and yeah. goes into the song yeah. i feel like that's also a representation of how I want to when the adichid and the kadal right. like it just like like an explosion yeah. just out yeah. of nowhere yeah. and then develops into something beautiful. Yeah. Just wanted to point that out as we were in that scene. Correct. Now carry no, on but, with your But that that sense of barrier that sense of obstacle is throughout the film. Yeah. Again, and I realize this as the more and more I watch it every single time Karthik is kind of going towards uh Jesse, Jesse. is always as a barrier, right? Okay. Obviously first and foremost the gate was there Amma. of course the house the fact that she lives right upstairs and the fact that there is the whole journey Amma. to go into her it's also there you have to take the steps to yeah to go up there also right but again one one of the scenes that is very iconic in the film is that scene where in the i think it's right after the the church scene in the interval mm-hmm. where karthi goes to the house Amma. right and then she's inside the house there's a inside, there's a grill that kind of stops them from kind of touching each other the whole hand. this you are talking about right before manipaya song Correct. right the lead to the manipaya Amma, song Amma. again they they were jessie's like one on a park no when a park no kati want to paste no kati and he just suddenly shows up yeah again and th- then again gautam doesn't make it easy he puts a puts a grill in between them and then Correct. she comes up and then for them to sort of come and talk to each other side by side there's a bit of effort and a bit of uh, worry and thought in while she's like yaar patra poranga she has to get past all that worry get past all that stuff to go and talk to him side yeah. by side because you yeah. see yeah as long as she's inside on the other side of the grill she is in her room yeah. and he is outside yeah. so anyone sees it she can say avana vanda enak theriyadhu get get grill la yaro vandanga enak therinjalnu na pe vanda post sonna appo solla but for her to cross that barrier of the gate and yeah. go and stand right beside him the moment that happens yeah. if anyone sees they'll be like uh one apna nee avana paaka pesradhu dhan poi irukka and that is that barrier that she's so afraid of crossing yeah right to 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 villainize with her to villainize her family yeah. so that's shown with that gate as well to for to get there there's a lot of hurdle to it and see the the, the barriers is not just a like physical gate and, uh, and for those who, who have followed gvm enough in his in his fil- films would also know by now that he's a huge maniratnam fan Correct. and this entire concept of a barrier was this used by maniratnam in ali paide if Amma. you go to ali paide and uh, this is, i think hopefully you put some screenshot of that scene there's a, there's a very uh, similar scene in uh, mani uh, in, uh, in ali paide where madhavan and baby shalini is talking to each other outside uh, in, uh, in the uh, college uh, baby shalini is in a college and madhavan is outside and there's a fence that kind of stops them from 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 kind of agging each other correct, right correct correct again here's a similar logic or here's a similar visual representation that says even uses in the film there is number the number of barriers in between them of course and also pay attention to the number of uh, effort that it takes for for karthik to go meet her correct a helipad house easy. is the boat it's not as straight for her just walking to someone's house you're traveling uh, uh, to go and get her yeah and and then even um, again from a house when he go uh, the manipaya song the there's a there's a guy who puts him in a in a sampan and what's a correct. sampan yeah what have you call it right padagu 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 so we can see with that padagu scene itself that the amount of effort it it takes from karthik side correct. to kind of get to where jesse is right correct. there's always it's never easy to meet even even if they are just in the same house yeah. still has to go uh, like take go to the staircase yeah. and they can't can't meet that they have to go to the motamadi be secretive about correct. it and all correct. that yeah and again sticking on the point of visual grammar again the amount of times a gvm uses visuals like stairs yeah uh, again one of my favorite uh, again going back to my favorite scene earlier uh, where jesse and karthik is talking at the near, near the board uh, if you see uh, carefully where jesse is talking to karthik there's a literally a, a stairs uh, which is not even built 
uh if you if you remember again i'm trying to uh, hopefully you'll be able to show that uh, that screenshot later in the, as we talk there's a shot of a stair without a nen there's little there's literally this which stair. which portion is this this is at the at the lake where kartik and friend of your pond friend of your pond where the din 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 the mustafa mr music comes again a beautiful uh, way of doing what gvm does but there's literally uh, i think there's a couple of stairs which yeah. leads to nowhere right, there's right. right behind jesse Again, I don't know whether it's just a coincidence. Or that you used to say, I used to say, I don't know if you used to say, but it doesn't matter. Because for me, as an experience, it, it is still helping me to decipher on. my own uh, understanding about the film. Right? Correct, and correct. I think that's where good films do and great films do it better. It kinda, it kinda, whatever you see said in the film sort of helps that the narration of the film to you. Correct. In a sense. People can say, after the half bill stack, it's still not on the scene work, work. Yes, it yeah. will work. But see, now looking at a broader perspective, yeah, for people who enjoy films this yeah. gives an additional thing to it like, as i also realized even later um there's a one scene between samantha and uh, kartik and this is again we assume samantha is the love they is supposed to be with yeah, there's yeah. a scene where even samantha and kartik is talking at a stairs ama agur agur stairs and samantha goes up first and then kartik follows her from behind Correct. so again i don't know whether this was intentional or not but for me it helps my experience of watching Correct. a film there's there's an element of you always have to sort of reach for this Correct. and it's not always going to be as easy so the element of will you cross the skies for me yeah. vinay tandi varva yeah. yeah will you come that is so what 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 gvm did very uh, very well here with the visuals with the characters and yeah. all that stuff is to to portray the element of you need to put effort. so much effort yeah. and a bunch what, sacrifice a few things yeah. for you to all, for us to sort of come to this this happy ending as we come Correct. as you say uh for this happy ending to work yeah and now the whole point is what are the things you are willing to, to what extent are you willing to do yeah. right yeah. and yeah. obviously in the end of the movie we realize that okay that is something that was too much of a too much of a, too high of a or yeah. get for for either Je- for Jesse to cross yeah. even though Karthik seems like he was willing to cross but then again yeah. coming right back to the point it is Karthik's it is Karthik's point of view yeah. it's a movie where GVM very clearly went to to it and like uh, what is that opposed to popular belief that this is two characters who are meant to be who just didn't work out it's sure. the other way around it yeah. is two characters who are not meant to be yeah. who were sort of who, who sort of found had, who sort of found each other in a lustful and yet loving way we yeah. argue and, and, and ha- shared attraction to one another but they were not meant to be because yeah. of who they were as a person right yeah. and that because the that movie's name vinay tandi varva and in that song because i was just looking at the beautiful song right yeah. looking at the lyrics and there's one point where the 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 lyrics go uh uyire niyum nanum pirindadu pudirpu mayathil dane pudirpu mayathil means uh, where we split is uh. in the center of pudirpu mayathil in the center of a puzzle yeah. something like that right the next line iruduruvam serndha andha oridam ange dam naan seindhome iruduruvam means two poles okay iruduruvam serndha andha oridam where two poles met that is where we met where that is where right. we got together and right. as you know if it's two poles they it are meant away. to be opposite they yeah. are never meant to be together in the first place yeah. right so that that's like like that is in that that vinay tandi varva song that's probably the biggest itself. spoiler for the movie <laughs> <laughs> and gautam has probably given to us in, in, in yeah. the song yeah i mean my singing might have been terrible but like the, the lyrics singing is, might have been off, <laughs> off tune but the lyric is very much in tune, in with, the tune with the story <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's basically it. what vinay tandi varva is as true to its yeah. name yeah. true to the characters yeah. and true to and how gvm stu- yeah. stick stuck to it yeah and and i think just to again cuz the way as a, as a, as a way to end the the podcast or to kind of bring it together we are not saying this is what happened right the every what she's telling podcast every episode that we that we put out is is pretty much aimed to give everybody including us a fresh perspective of a film that's probably very uh, uh typically cliche uh, at the how oh, and on how it's looked correct correct if, and, and and i think not to say that we intentionally make it or we intentionally try to uh, talk about it in a completely opposite way but it's again film making at least good films always gives you a fresh uh indication of what is it about the more you age that exactly as i was going to yeah. say all of us have watched a lot of classics as growing up yeah. but watching it again as you're a lot older you're yeah. a lot more you're emotionally intelligent yeah emotional like stable eq eq yeah. is higher right yeah. go and watch those movies again you'll yeah. find a whole lot yeah. in it yeah. that you've never really discovered and, while you're watching it and, and if you're a, f- a typical film consumer 
it gives you an experience but if you're also a writer it gives you another experience Correct. right if you're like hey i i i've not i've not been able to write that kind of thing uh by looking at it this way but you know yeah. this discussions hopefully give you a uh, a a perspective on how to write better right. or if you people like just you know a, a typical movie watcher this is just another idea for you Correct. to just think about anyone who sort of appreciates uh cinema tamil cinema or like you said you wanted to write uh i guess in this is something that i'm going to take it with me as well one way to write a very good movie that is very character driven is not to know your scenes or write your scenes is to know your characters well yeah you know your characters well you never stray away from will, the story yeah. the scenes will come by itself and yeah. it will always stick to that consistency that we talked about yeah. and yeah. it will work amazingly well as yeah. vinay tandi varvaya did because think about it vinay tandi varvaya at the end of the day is a story about this guy who likes his girl who sort of seems to like him as well but they just keep fighting about not keep fighting but they keep ha- keep having issues yeah. and they can never end up together and this girl is so undesired yeah. this guy gets frustrated there's not there is nothing there to root for yeah. but so one way ticket to heartbreak city <laughs> right alaga mudichta paye idile nam mudichiru kadhe as we end uh, again a quick shout out to everybody who's been sharing tagging and mentioning us in your social media pages i keep saying this like a desperate attention seeking person but we keep doing what you do um, yes. again the best way for us to reach or keep reaching bigger audiences or bigger bigger numbers per se is by you guys tagging and mentioning us in your social media so please pages. do our social media handles are down here yes. and you obviously you can listen to us on spotify apple podcast google podcast if you are already listening in those platforms you can uh, come over to youtube to just suggest some ideas leave your opinions and whatever not yeah and with that with the conclusion of that on vinay tande varvaya thank you very much for tuning in this is tanish this is joshua michael and this is what she is telling a tamil cinema podcast thank you what she is telling <laughs>